Hi, everyone. Um, I was told that I would be able to share my screen on the left, and I was hoping someone could tell me um, where I pressed to share my screen. Um, I do not see a share screen button, but I could send you my slides if you want, or I could just chat for 15 minutes. Um, it's the top left and a drop. Oh, okay. Okay. Hopefully everyone can see this. Um, I'll just go ahead right now. Um, my name is Annie Rawarda. I run social media accounts called Depths of Wikipedia on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And I'm very excited for this. Um, I'm This is my second Wikimania, and I've been to a few conferences, but this is my first time presenting. A little bit about me is that, a little bit about me is that, um, I recently graduated from the University of Michigan with a, I studied neuroscience. This on the left is my assistant. Um, and then right now I'm a freelance writer. One thing I wrote, I actually am so glad I put this one as the example because I talked a little bit about Kiwix, which I believe the last session mentioned. Um, this is my TikTok where I talk about some like goofy uh, Wikipedia rabbit holes. Um, TikTok actually has a feature where you can link to Wikipedia. So it's interesting to see how um, page views on Wikipedia are affected by a viral TikTok. I don't, I haven't done any scientific research. I just noticed. Um, there's also the Instagram, which it's been two years about, and now it's a million followers. And then I've gotten a lot of press too. This was me in the New York Times, the New Yorker, even did look at the little caricature of my cat that they did. Um, I like that they made her blue. Um, and then this is discussing um, live shows. I've done a few live comedy shows um, across the country and I'm having fun. So I believe I'll do more um, where I have a slideshow. I talk about Wikipedia. I make some jokes. Sometimes I'll bring in some star Wikipedians. I um, had Andrew Lee and I had um, Stephen Pruitt, the editor in English Wikipedia with the most edits um, at a recent show. And that was exciting. Um, more press. This is me on the news for some reason talking about um, odd rabbit holes on Wikipedia. Really what I'm saying is that this has struck a nerve with people and so I'm really glad that people are getting excited about Wikipedia. Um, this is just like a screen grab of some of the things that I posted on Instagram recently. Um, some favorites of mine include Blobject, which feels just so aptly named, uh, a design product with an absence of sharp edges. I was also enamored by the fact that, well, this is the one on the bottom left. Um, Albania has um, over 100,000 bunkers built during the Soviet era. And there's a note on the bottom that young people will, um, will go there and hang out. Um, some more samples of things that I think are charming on Wikipedia and other people do too. This chimpanzee, which is probably not typing Hamlet, but hey, maybe, who's to say? Um, I posted this image of Jan Smit, a paleontologist who's, he's really successful. He studies um, stratigraphy and like the, um, the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Anyway, his Wiki Wikipedia photo to me was the funniest thing ever because of course he's looking at rocks. He's a paleontologist. 200,000 people on Twitter liked this image and the next day, I saw um, a response from Rob Crane, his son-in-law, saying that Jan Smit was looking at Jan Smit looking at rocks. Um, here's another fun <laughs> corner of Wikipedia that I enjoy. Um, the High Five page has featured these photos uh, since about 2008. And you can kind of tell from the fashion here, like this is 2008. Um, I tracked them down a few months ago and I reached out to them and I was very excited to discover that um, victim misses in the bottom left here. Are you ready for my joke? Victim misses became victim misses MRS. Ha ha ha. Um, I 
was also delighted when they recreated the photos with their kids. Um, <laughs> they really committed. They're passing on their uh, their legacy here. Um, so that's a heartwarming story. Another article that I think is really delightful and also timely. Um, so three days ago was the 18th anniversary of Dave Matthews Band dumping 800 pounds of septic waste onto a passenger sightseeing boat on the Chicago River. I don't have a slide for it, but I posted about this. A lot of other people also posted about it. And the page views for this article are like, they skyrocketed. Um, yeah. Um, Wikipedia's got everything you need. There's what, 6.5 million English articles now? Something like that. And there is, sometimes it feels like there's an article for everything under the sun. The Pope Mobile, for example, um, John Paul II requested that the media stop referring to it as the Pope Mobile, saying it was undignified. The Pope Mobile, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, I'll keep going through these pretty quickly since I don't have time. I don't have time for that one. Um, somebody sued God uh, for his, quote, negligence in allowing a lightning bolt to strike her house. God failed to turn up in court, which really makes me wonder how omnipresent is that guy? But even though this woman won the case, it's unclear whether she was able to collect any of her winnings. This is the ugliest color in the world, um, according to a marketing panel. <laughs> and now it's the color of cigarette packages in some places. This is the average color of the universe, found by a team of astronomers from Johns Hopkins University. The name Cosmic Latte perhaps speaks to um, the researcher's affinity for caffeine. I quite love this photo of uh, a Wikipedia editor on the internet. Nobody knows your dog. And I'm curious to see if I meet any dog editors at Wikimania. I don't really have time for that one. The cat gap is a period in the fossil record. It's, you know, about 600, or excuse me, I can't do math right now, 6.5 million years where there are a few fossils of cats in North America. Where did they go? Maybe they found a little sunny spot by the window. Um, what I, what I, um, think about humor on Wikipedia is that obviously Wikipedia is not here to be a joke box. I, I would never advocate for vandalism. I don't think Wikipedia is a place to purposely put in your jokes. That said, little moments of goofiness occasionally here and there within reason, I think they do show people that Wikipedia was written by humans and not even that it was written by people just like them. Um, here's a great quote I read in the signpost recently, but I'm going to move on. I've been, I, so I have like, what, it's about, um, 2 million followers at this point. And I think they would consider themselves Wikipedia enthusiasts, but fewer Wikipedia editors. Um, so it's a fun challenge to think about how I can tap into that base of people who are mostly young people and, um, get them to try editing. So I've done some edit-a-thons. I've talked more about editing. Um, I'm an editor. Um, I have a Discord where there's more um, like low stakes conversational ways to talk about editing. I've also pointed to the Wikipedia Discord, which is amazing. It's great. Um, I'm open to suggestions. You, you, many of you probably have projects. I have a platform. Let's work together. My email's at the end of the presentation. Um, here's one example of me talking about the people behind Wikipedia. Um, I said that I was obsessed with the person who forgot their frozen pizza in the oven for four hours and then took a photo of its charred remains for the article Pyrolysis um, because the image description charmed me a little bit. <laughs> so I'm so sorry to use your slick about your pizza, but thanks for the great photo. Um, there are some memes about Wikipedia that perhaps will intrigue a, a non-Wikipedian. This one's from There's No Time. And I, I, if you know this meme, you'll get it. If you don't, you might not. But it's all acronyms. And then instead of saying always has been, it's Wikipedia, A-H-B. <laughs> um, people on the internet, I think, have lots to say about Wikipedia. And of course, there are some Fox News corners where it's very, um, I don't know, critical of Wikipedia still. But there's also this massive group of young people who love Wikipedia and who love reading Wikipedia and who would probably be great editors. And so again, I've, I, tr I try to um, introduce them to editing. I would love your suggestions. I would love your help. 
Um, so that's about it. I hope that um, I'm good on time, and I hope that the rest of your Wikimania is just as happy as this um, lake of meteoric origin. So with that, um, feel free to email me. You can DM me. I'm pretty easy to reach on the internet, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You can ask questions. I believe I can see the chat. Oh, okay. What is the most fun non-English article you have come across? Oh, that's a tough one. So I'm, I speak some Spanish, but not great. But I recently read the article about the song Bebito Fiu Fiu, which this is a little bit naughty, but, um, but the Peruvian president had a scandal where he, um, sent like he had an affair and there's a song where they set the the exposed texts to music and it went viral and i read that it's it's in the spanish language wikipedia baby to few few um i would love to see more of the chat questions but i think that some of them have scrolled up so um it's fun to see some familiar names though hi dan hi um rebecca if you asked a question before and you're curious, maybe send it again because um, because I'm not seeing very many. Otherwise, I can call it. Oh, French articles. Okay, so I did recently um, post about how the French article for crepe defines it as a thin pancake and the English article for pancake defines it as or excuse me the English article crepe defines it as a thin pancake the French article for pancake describes it as a thick crepe and so it's this fun circular situation where it's pancakes and crepes all the way down hi Vera Somebody just said um, that I have more followers than the Wikipedia account. Yeah, more on Instagram, but on Twitter, we're really close right now. I'm not very sure. I think the Wikipedia account is great for like today. They do really good um, today in history type posts, which I always think are useful and helpful and interesting. Whoever is in charge of this, if you would like to kick me out at any time, you may definitely kick me out. But for now... I'll keep answering. Has anyone ever offered to buy my followers? All the time. I'm. I get a lot of. Um, I get a lot of spammers that may or may not be serious that offer to buy it, but I will not. I will not sell out. At least. Um, <laughs> at least not to somebody like that. How do I find inter interesting articles? There are so many. Well, I do quite like editing, um, but even when you're at even when you're editing, you don't always find, sometimes you can get kind of pigeonholed into one area for a while. Um, I browse quite a bit. I really like fun facts in that corner of the internet, like on Reddit and newsletters. Um, and then at this point, there's so many followers that I get DMs all the time from very wonderful people who say, hey, Annie, you would love this article. And then I click on it and I read it and I often post it. So that is, is probably how it goes. How much time do I spend going into rabbit holes? Well, in early quarantine, when I lost my job, much more time. Um, but right now that I'm working more, um, maybe a few, I probably spend like two hours a day on Wikipedia when you add up editing and just browsing. Thanks so much for joining. Um, somebody is saying something about spoken Wikipedia on the Dutch Wikipedia, and I would love to check that out because I don't often listen to those recordings. Bebito Fiu Fiu does need an English article.